Guys, it's Dominic here with what may be the start of another video. Would you look at that, a dead bird. Huh. Um, today I'm going to be going out in the few hours I have before the sun sets after school and looking to see what we can find, you know, just in general. I'm actually on my way right now to a little culvert because the other day I saw a gorgeous baby uh, broad-banded water snake inside of it and was not able to catch it due to my own incompetence. So, I don't know if we'll be able to catch it this time because I tend not to be the best at catching things I want to catch always, but hopefully we'll be able to. And so yeah, I'll check back in with y'all the moment that we find anything at all. I'll see y'all in a bit. All right guys, we have our first turp of the day. It's just a little green frog. Seems like we're always starting out the videos with these guys. But I think I've developed a new plan for what I'm gonna do today, you know? Maybe walk around by the highway and whatnot, see what's up. Just thought it would be worth mentioning. And the subspecies of green frog we actually have down here is the uh, bronze frog, which I'll put the scientific name right here as well. Um, typically, in the northern in the northern states that have these, they're the northern green frog, which is an entirely different subspecies. But this is technically a bronze frog, but we're going to address them as green frogs because this is the only subspecies that we have here, so it won't really matter if we call them by the general species name or the subspecies name. Hope you enjoyed that little ramble. I'll see you all in a bit. Guys, not a herp, but the signs of one. Giant, what I believe to be water snake shed. Hopefully we can find its owner. That'd be pretty cool. I'll see y'all in a bit. Guys, next herp of the day in C2 is this large snapping turtle just sitting in there. I'm gonna pull her out, maybe get a picture or two, and then throw her back in. I find these guys are pretty typical of small kind of run down creeks like this one, which is pretty new to me actually. Um, looks like it's been traveled quite frequently, or maybe that's just the way the water swept it, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna pull this girl out, get a good look at her, and take some pictures. I'll see y'all in a bit. So as you can see, she is actually almost chasing me, it looks like. I'm pretty sure, yeah, see what she's doing. She's trying to go to the stream, and I'm just in between her and the stream right now. There she goes, biting my snake hook. It's good that these things are, you know, metal, so that if this was my finger, this would be bad if it was my finger. Really going at it there, huh? Uh, oh, and if you were here, you would be asking what that smell is. That's their musk. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get some pictures of this girl. Throw her back. Yeah. Look at her, though. She's pretty big. She's one of the bigger ones I found recently. I did find that big one, like, eight or so vlogs ago, maybe? I don't even know. We've been really tracking them out. But yeah, I'm gonna get some pictures of her. And then I'll update y'all in a sec. Or, I'll update y'all when we find our next herb. I'll see you guys in a bit. This next herp of the day is this fairly large fellow. It's a big old bullfrog. Really pretty looking guy. I hope I can get some photos in C2. But uh, if not, at least we have this clip. Um, yeah, haven't found much yet, but this is a new route, so that's to be expected. Uh, hopefully I'll find something cool soon, and I'll see you in a little bit. Guys, here in C2 is our next herp, which I believe we may have found earlier this year. This is a large snapping turtle, which I'm just about to net. I really don't want it to escape. Come on. Yes. Ooh, she's heavy. Wow. I'm contemplating whether I should bring her up by the pond. Pretty sure that's private property, so we may just keep her over here. I might go up there. Wowzers. This is a, it's a big girl. She bit my snake hook through the bag just now. Yeah, look at her. She's, she's large. Large and in charge. So as you can see, these don't display that little, uh, you know, shrivel up into a ball and hide all my limbs dis behavior that the smaller snapping turtles display. They're a bit more badass. So I think I've actually caught this girl before. You all may remember I caught a really large snapping turtle in the earlier videos. 
with that first king snake. And I think this girl may be the one that I caught there. But yeah, I think I'm gonna get like another photo and then throw her back. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Next trip of the day and the first snake is this little broad banded water snake. I'm actually trying to scope out a spot that would I could picture with him right now. I think that these stones might look a really nice contrast with his gorgeous melanism. If you look right now, he has a pattern extremely similar to that of one of the darker cottonmouths that are in this area. Although you can tell by looking at his bands that this guy is in fact a broad banded water snake. But look at that, he looks just like a cottonmouth actually. And look, he's sidewinding. Are you, is he gonna, yeah. Oh, that's not sidewind. Oh, there was one just there. They kind of sidewind. So when he flattens out his head and flashes his mouth, which is almost white, this guy really looks like a cottonmouth. Although, he's definitely not. We can tell this for a few reasons. His eyes are in the center of his head where they usually are. The color of his tongue, the serrated, the, um, the type, shape of his pupils, the pattern in general, his belly, the scales past the urethra on the end of the tail. I'm actually holding him a little too d far down the tail right now. Might be why he's so uncomfortable right now. There, that'll be better. But this guy is definitely not a cottonmouth, even though he's doing a very impressive job imitating one. So I think this actually would look, make a really nice photo spot. I wish my phone was on flash right now, but unfortunately for me, I'm an idiot and didn't charge it properly. So uh, we may have to find a spot with better sunlight. Nice, just bit me. All right, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. If it's found anything else, I'll see you then. Well guys, just here at my school, filming this little clip. Uh, just got this little baby red-eared slider. Pretty little guy. So I'm sitting on that piece of stick right there, that really, really skinny bit. And yeah, just walked up, jumped in, I grabbed him out of the water. Just a good little look at this little guy. Really, really tiny. I'm gonna try to get some pictures of him. Beautiful day out here. Sad it can't be herping, but <laughs> Try to get some pictures of this guy, I'm gonna let him go. Oh, little guy. Nope. What? He just gets taken by the <laughs> Alright guys, so we're back, walking around the pond again, and we've got our second little turtle. Uh, looks like baby river cooter. Looks a bit different than any yellow belly I've seen, so I'm gonna go with the river cooter. On this guy, same pond, just over there I got the other guy. Here's this little guy. I'm gonna take a few pictures of him, I'll let him go. See you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, we're back here again. Third turtle of the day. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. Third turtle of the day. This little, I'm thinking red ear, yellow belly uh, mix. If not, just a red, uh, red ear. Because his ears are really orange and his face patterns look kind of like a, a yellow belly. Yeah, this gorgeous little guy. Found him right on that stick. So focus over there. Right on that stick with another one. I walked by, a little one jumped in, and I saw this guy, and I uh, reached in after him. So there, there are definitely more out here. I just yeah, I didn't get a chance to grab that other guy. I didn't even see him. So yeah, get some pictures of this guy. I'm going to let him go. See you guys in the next clip. Well guys, here we are with the first herp of the day. Looking like a really, really cool patterned uh, musk turtle. I'm thinking because of the yellow. Really cool guy. I saw him just swimming right here, fighting the current. Look at that pattern. All the dots. That is really neat. I've never seen one like this. I'll do some research to see if it actually is a musk. I mean, y'all have the final diagnosis in the video. Yeah. Pretty good find. First find. I'll catch back in with you. Or I'm gonna let him go. I'll catch back with you guys if I catch anything else. Well guys, here we are with our second herp of the day, crawling through this really dirty looking, I don't know how well you can see back there. Really dirty, no really water. Uh, it looks like just a side off creek. It was on that bank over there. I heard rustling. Found this big guy. Big red-eared slider right down here. 
Got a really cool colored shell. But, yeah, I might get a picture or two of him. They're pretty common. I don't know if I take the most pictures of red ears. I'm going to pick him up. I'm going to get him in the creek where he's trying to go. And I'll let him on his way. I'll catch back with you all if I catch anything else.